Welcome to another Simple Dad iPhone tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to fix the issue where FaceTime is not taking live photos on your iPhone running iOS 17. So as you can see, I'm currently on a FaceTime call and here I've got the shutter button to take a live photo. So as you can see, it's taken a FaceTime photo and that FaceTime photo is a live photo. So I can see three seconds of the video and also a photo. So if you don't see this feature on your FaceTime app, then let me show you what steps you can take to resolve this. So the very first step which you can take is to make sure FaceTime live photo is turned on. So in order to access that, you wanna first close your FaceTime call. Next, you wanna go into settings, scroll down until you see FaceTime. Now you wanna scroll down again and here you'll see FaceTime live photo. So it allows live photos to be captured during a FaceTime video call. So make sure that is enabled. So toggle the switch to the right hand side. If it's grayed out, that means you're on a call and you're unable to change the settings. So drop off from the FaceTime call and go to the settings and make sure to enable this. Now, once you've done that, you wanna go back to your FaceTime app start a call and make sure you see this shutter button here. Now, the second reason why you're unable to take live FaceTime photo is due to no space on your iPhone. So to confirm this, you wanna go into settings. Next, you wanna scroll down and go into general. Here, you wanna go ahead and tap on iPhone storage. And from here, you wanna make sure you have enough iPhone storage to take a photo. As you can see, I currently have 83 gig free. Now the third step which you can take to resolve the issue where you're unable to take live FaceTime photo is by restarting the FaceTime app. So it's basically by swiping up halfway, going to your app and swiping up to close it completely. Once you've done that, open up FaceTime again, go back to the call and then make sure you see this shutter button here at the bottom left. Now the fourth step is to restart your device. So as you know, most of your issues on your iPhone can be resolved by restarting it. So when you encounter any FaceTime problem, you can try the solution to fix it. Now the fifth reason why you don't see that shutter button on your FaceTime call is due to out of date iOS. So here, you need to make sure your iPhone is updated to the latest version. Currently, we are on iOS 17. If your iPhone supports it, then you're able to install iOS 17. So make sure to update it. So to do this, you wanna go into settings. Next, you wanna scroll down until you see general, then tap on software update. This will basically check for any new update and will install it or will prompt you to install it. So make sure to install it. Now, the last reason why you're unable to take any FaceTime live photo is due to a privacy settings. So if your camera or your FaceTime app is restricted, you won't be able to take a live photo during a video call or save your live photo. So here you need to check your privacy restriction settings. So to do this, you know, go into settings Next, you wanna scroll down and tap on screen time. Then you wanna tap on content and restrictions or privacy restrictions. So scroll down, you'll see it there. And here you wanna tap on allowed apps. And from here, you wanna make sure camera is enabled and FaceTime is enabled. So these two apps must be enabled. And once you have enabled that, you wanna go back to your FaceTime app and test if it lets you take a live photo on your FaceTime call. So there you go guys. Those are the steps which you can take to resolve the issue where you're unable to take a live photo on your FaceTime call. Now, if you're new on the channel and you want to find out more about your iPhone, your Android phone, or any other social media apps, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button if you find this video useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.